Yeah, the, I think the weather, the last time we saw it, it was due to rain, wasn't it? I think it was pushed out to Sunday and now it's come back in. So um, we're going to obviously keep a, a keen eye on that because that'll um, affect the game and, and, and tactics and things around that. But uh, it rained in, in Biarritz when we played Samoa. Um, you know, and that, you saw how that game went. That was a, a bit tricky for us, although a lot of stuff, given the weather, we could have done a lot better. So um, similar outfit. Um, we've obviously looked at them a lot this week and... You know, particularly in their you know powerful forward back as Ronan said, and their back line is um, is quite explosive. So similar to Samoa in that if you know if the game gets loose or whatever, that's that's advantage to them <coughs> a little bit. Um, and yeah, you know, like that, you know, but they do have quite a, a structure around their free flowing rugby as well. We've seen that o- over the week in, in the analysis and stuff. So um, yeah, like you know, with with, the, with these types of teams, you know, it can be it can be really tricky. It can be really open and get loose, but. Um, we're just, I know it's cliche, but we're looking at ourselves and, and trying to, you know, even push on from the Romania game, which was which was a good start. Um, and as you probably saw um, and reviewed, like there's there was a lot of stuff we could have uh, done better, you know, and, and pushed on a little bit more. I know the scoreline was was quite big in the end, but you know we're looking at like Ron said with the line out, fine tuning a, a lot of things. Okay, Murray, uh, in that sense, Connor, how close do you think over the last few months? Yeah, it, within the group we know where we can go and the standards we can, we can hit uh, and the heights we can hit and um, you know preseason was really good to get back in the group and, and get going again and um, you know preseason is a is a tricky one where you know the games start off pretty quickly and then you're into new combinations and you know compared to where we probably left off in the Six Nations having a, a big run of form over over eight weeks or whatever it is so. Um, yeah, we'd like to think we're we're definitely getting there. We're, we're, you know, there was huge positives from the Romania game in terms of our shape and how we how we went about our business there. And um, you know, defensively, I'm sure we're going to get tested um, a bit more as as the weeks go on. So that's some that's an area we're really aware of um, in training. Um, you know, and we said in training we train against um, the the babes or the non starters or whatever, and and the standards really high. So. What we're seeing in, tra- in training is, is of a really high standard, so um, I think we're in a good spot there. But you know, it, it, it comes down to when you come up against these teams and the tests you, you face, and, and it's going to get tougher each week. But um, yeah, like I, I think, think I said it after some more game, we feel in a really good spot. It's just about showing it on on the Saturdays now. You mentioned that the excitement for you going to work up is always going to be the same. Is it the same for the people around you, your loved ones, your family? Like, are they all willing to get over to this and be a part of it? Yeah, yeah, they are big time. They're they're hugely excited. You know, probably the last one as well. So they're definitely making the most of it. Um, so yeah, it's brilliant. You know, friends are starting to come over this weekend, and you know, a few people have you know follow your team tickets and, and things like that. So I think my dad is on uh, on the way over on the ferry as we speak. So um, yeah, it's great, great. Um, families love it. You see it when when they turn up. How excited they are. So it just uh, kind of hits home how big it is. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. He's he's in good health and he's back golfing and doing everything he loves. And um, yeah, it's great, great that he's uh, he's able to do it. Thanks, Kane. Connor, um, your fourth World Cup. How would you sum up the journey from the first one from from then on? It feels long. Looking back at the the photos of the long hair in 2011. Um, yeah, I, 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 the journey is. I, I suppose we've talked about it quite with you as well before. Like of you know coming through. And getting in for 2011 but um where i am now i suppose you know it's fort world cup um people have mentioned that and then we're aware of it but I, I suppose i just really appreciate them and i really appreciate where i am and, and really grateful of the the opportunities you know I, you know really lucky to, to have made four i've seen in every cycle you know people fall out of true injury or true favor or form or, or whatever so um yeah the journey just uh, it's it's just a grateful one, I suppose. And I'm really lucky to be part of a squad, especially this one. I think this one is, um, you know, they've all been great crack and they've all been um, talented squads. But this just kind of takes a lot of those boxes, you know, the the camaraderie we have. Um, I hope that shows from the inside out. You know, I don't think we need to talk about that. We're a really tight group, and and obviously the potential we have. So, um, yeah, just excited to be part of of. Um, of the environment and, and excited about where we can go. With that in mind, does it mean a bit more like with all the injuries you've had <clears> say, in this cycle, does it mean that bit more to have gone here for your fourth? 
Yeah, uh, like timing and injuries and stuff is part of everyone's career. That that always happens. And in preseason, it's probably in the back of everyone's mind. You know, you 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 especially having been to a few of them and knowing how special they can be and the memories you have from them. You know, the the thought of getting injured, the thought of you know, you know, you want to play your best rugby and put your your best foot forward and and make it onto the plane and. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it, it hits home how how special they are and 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 how how special the memories you make from from these these tournaments or however however long we're together. So um, yeah, again, go back to the the grateful part. It's just grateful to be part of this. Okay, we're final questions shortly. So Simon, Owen, and then Peter, please. Like, uh, you played with and against Malachi Petitawa. Can you tell us what he brings to a team and, and what it's like to play against? Him? Yeah, train against him a lot as well, and he's a um, tough, tough competitor. He's a great fella. He he really kind of bought into our culture um, when he was at Monster, and, and you know he he wasn't involved initially for for the start of the season. Then he were he just ultimate pro, always always doing extras, always looking after himself really well, and um, fought his way back into the Monster team, and you know he was a big part of our, our end of season run. Um, and he's, he was you know he's such a nice guy and, and he, he actually led really well throughout the year in terms of you know his rugby knowledge you know he you know obviously being an all black and, and where he is now and he's, he's been around the world and played and um, really professional and, and a, a really good leader he was brilliant to young lads around around the, the squad and things um, and obviously on the pitch he's, he's a massive threat you know we saw that towards the end of the season with Munster um, you know he's really physical he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a ridiculous athlete and um, you know he's 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 quite intelligent as well, and he can bring players like Pietro and these these type of guys. He can set them free too. So, um, you know their backline is littered with fellas the size and pace of Malachi. So, um, yeah, we have to be on our on our guard for those guys. Um. Yeah, and I, I think. Oh yeah, probably have, not have a right to, but just from where we are and and, what, and the journey we've been on over the last few years, um, I'd say it like we're you know we've we've had a great three or four year run and, and we've had a lot of success there, but you know a number of us who've been to World Cups and we've come in in good form or um or whatever um and it, it really just comes down to the competition and how well you play within that competition. So you can take a lot of confidence from what we've done, but also it's it's a completely different uh, competition that you're in and, and what you've done people can say it doesn't really matter for much you know what i mean so we i think i think the whole group know and you've heard us say it before that you know if we if we play to our potential we have a chance and i think we've done that more consistently over the last few three or four years than than we have previously um in, in other times so yeah it, do, it does it feels different but i think everyone's aware of how hard we have to work to still, you know, try and try and go as far as we can. Rory, then sorry, Peter. Sorry, Connor, the Tanya coaches has, uh, has spoken about their desire to to beat one of the bigger teams in the pool. Yeah. Uh, they've had a longer run into this, their first game. But do you expect a really emotional approach from them? And have you spoken about the importance of discipline and control? Yeah, you're dead right. I think. Um, you know, given where you you stand or you're perceived to stand, you know the the those teams will be really fired up to play against you, and that's that's you know that's probably that just comes with with the territory, and um, definitely aware of that. Um, definitely aware of how emotional um, teams can be. Any team you play, you know what I mean, on a, on a world stage and in a World Cup game, you know the buzz you see when you land at any city, it's 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 huge. You know what I mean? It's um, it's really special so any team going out and getting a chance to perform against anyone is going to be probably that bit more fired up so um saw it against Samoa as well you know they, they were really fired up for that game made it really physical and um yeah it's it's, it's going to be a really tough task discipline wise like you just said, you said discipline yeah um that's going to be a huge thing obviously um with the way that the the laws are and, and rightly so you know it's, it's going to be a really important um point in, in any team's game to, to get right going forward you know what I mean because you can you can lose players um, pretty quickly nowadays and, and it's it's for the safety of the game and I completely understand that but um, yeah discipline needs to be um, looked at a little bit extra carefully but um, 
yeah, they're going to be physical, so you have to kind of marry that up with it. Yourself and Kayla, I think we're the first two players caps. You have a new caps as, as, as by Andy as part of this workup cycle. How quickly do you come become part of this group? How quickly are you integrated by the senior guys like Connor? How quickly can you take ownership of all of them and become part of it? How is that process working? Um, yeah, it's pretty instant to be honest. Like it's such a good group to come into and um, very welcoming. Uh, like when we came in, I think we were about twenty one at the time, and straight away, uh, lads. Loving us with open arms, and yeah, it's a really enjoyable group. And then, in terms of being yourself, like a lot of it was just relying on the older lads and their experiences, and um, and then like that allowed us to navigate our way through our first Six Nations, and then onward uh, from there. And then, even at this uh, World Cup, there's a lot of us as our first time, and obviously we're able to touch on the experience of the lads who've been to a couple as well. So um, yeah, it's been really easy. Being your first World Cup, similar to my question, Connor, how is it for everyone around you? I know obviously Keith being incredibly supportive to you over who's over. Uh, yeah, it's uh, incredible as you said uh, for the family. Um, my parents came over last week; they're coming over again this week. Um, and yeah, uh, my brothers have also been real supportive. Um, I haven't got a chance to come over yet, but hopefully they'll be able to come over uh, at some stage anyway. And um, but yeah, even like the uh, atmosphere in uh, Bordeaux and stuff was incredible. And um, whatever it was, 40,000, like, there's at least 39,000 of them were Irish, so hopefully it'll be the same again this weekend. Uh, last question, Joey. Connor, sorry, you've kind of been asked this, kind of been asked already, but what would you say the, the main, the biggest difference in Conor Murray 2011 and Conor Murray 2023, what's still the same? How long do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I, I obviously experience that's something um, that'll come with it, with, with time and, and um, yeah, 2011, like I said before, I think I was just naive and young and naive and just took everything for, for not for granted, but it was all new and I just, it was experience, new experience after new experience and um, yeah, like as a, as a person and, and where I am as a player now, I suppose, <clears throat> going back to being grateful about being here, I know how special they are and, um, and World Cups and, and the memories you can, you can really make and also how difficult it is. Um, to, to do well at World Cup so in terms of a player I think the main difference is motivation wise is I'm way more aware of how, how hard you have to work as a as an individual and a group to to get what you want um, you know back then again you're, you're just starting off in your career and you, you're not as aware but now I think uh, the pathway you can see it but you know it's you know doing everything right and um, and trying to perform at your best, I think that's where I'm, I'm kind of more aware of now, um, as opposed to back then. Are you less or more nervous than the It never changes, always really, really nervous. Can't eat. <laughs>